everybody, it's me, Cassie. I hope you missed me, because I missed you. I really miss talking about books, and uh, if you guys are watching this, I'm glad you are. Because I'm like a single person on YouTube. Who knows how many people will be watching this. But anyway, today I'm going to talk to you about Claudia's Gray, Claudia Gray's novel uh, called Sorceress. Sorceress is the last book in the series, uh, and the series is called the Spellcaster series. And in the and what happened in the last three books is that Nadia, uh, her family moved to Captive Sound, and uh, she discovers there's this big sorcerer, sorcerer, sorceress, yeah, sorceress, and uh, she named Elizabeth, and she has to stop Elizabeth as she tries to destroy the town and as she's doing this she meets this guy named Mateo and uh, this guy named Mateo he has this curse that's been part of his family for years it makes them see the future and eventually they just go crazy and he finds about uh, he and Nadia meet uh, when he goes to this place he saw in one of his future visions and he saves her and her family in a car crash so then after that they get to know each other and they become girlfriend and boyfriend and then they also meet this girl named Valerine she uh, she has silver hair she is pretty awesome she's really into vintage stuff but the thing is she doesn't really get noticed like she can't be fully loved only the people who and the reason why that is because she was cursed by everybody's favorite sorceress Elizabeth and it prevents her from being loved and only people who can love her are the people who knew her before the curse happened but anyway she can't be fully loved like um or noticed so like people will just they'll just hate her because of some dark curse and we're like and Valerie's like oh woe is me but hey I can still love everybody and I'll be happy in this world and that's what makes her very special and then um and then uh, in this like in the first book Elizabeth started to raise the one beneath if you, I'm not talking about Hades for you uh, Percy Jackson fans out there love Percy Jackson but anyway the one beneath as in religious terms I'm not saying that because I don't want to so his name will be the one beneath that's because they, that is his name in the book anyway so she starts raising the one beneath and um, Nadia thought she stopped Elizabeth in the first book, but turns out she didn't, so in the second book she has to try to stop her again while trying to help Matteo and Valerain with their curses. So what she does uh, is she tries so hard to stop, but eventually she had to swear herself to the one beneath. And that's a big no-no in the uh, crap in the witch world, and because it makes, just like swearing, the one beneath is like Kronos, you never say yes to them, I'm just like, don't you people, don't you people know of what happened to Luke Castellan, don't you ever learn? <laughs> but anyway, she had to swear herself to the one beneath, and, um, uh, because she had no choice to and she's and in this book she's trying to stop her Elizabeth with her best efforts but uh, she can feel the darkness starting to approach and she's trying really hard to fight it while also uh, fighting Elizabeth too and so in the second book that uh, relationship also blooms not Mateo and Nadia have I been Nadia um Valerine and this demon named Asa 
also can see Valerie for as she truly is because demons are just immune to dark magic or something. Uh, so they become, they kiss a couple times. Very fun. And in this, and in this book, she's just like, I'm trying to fight it, but I can't. And Asa's like, I'm trying to, but I love you too much. And it's all very adorable. I ship them a lot. And so, yeah, like, they're struggling with their relationships, because Valerie is on Team Not Evil, and Asa is a demon working for the one beneath, so, just like, they're just like, oh, right now, we'll just figure out what to do, and we'll try to do the best we can. And so, I also forgot to mention earlier, Mateo is Nadia steadfast, and a steadfast, uh, what they do is that they can make a witch's power more powerful. Uh, they can make the witch more strong, and... It's, and Mateo is a boy, and you're not supposed to tell, the, that's another big no-no in the craft, you're not supposed to tell the ma any men what the craft is. So, uh, she had to, because, uh, the way Mateo was born, like he was born, like he was created in a lab. I don't remember the exact wording, because when I read the first book, it was a while ago. But, like, the way he was created, it allows him to be able to be a steadfast. And so, yeah, it's all very fun. But anyway, how is, how is everything going to end in the book? Who is going to win? Who is going to win? And will Nadia be able to uh, suppress the darkness that is growing inside her? Well, I guess you're going to have to read the book to find out, or you can just stay, because what time is it? Spoiler time, spoiler time, Woo! Hope you guys enjoyed that little high school musical parody. But anyway, uh, as I said earlier, Valer Valerine and Asa, I think, make a very adorable couple, and I'm really happy that um, Asa did get his happy ending. I'm just like, when I was reading this, I'm just like, Asa, you need a happy ending. And then he got one. He, I mean, he's in a dead person's body, and the parents don't know. But the parents are happy because Asa is a better version of the dead person. And so it's very fun. And then they, and then Valerie and Asa, their relationship is just, like, it's very close. They're like, I care for you so much. It's not like... Oh, you're a demon, and I'm on team good. Uh, it's not like that. They're just... They have a very close relationship because they can relate to each other. It's all very nice. And then, um... One thing that I didn't really like about this book is that when I was reading it, I felt like it went very fast. Like, it skipped over some details, like, went near the ending... I felt like it was going really, really fast, and I was just like, oh, it's like how people, it's like the blood of Olympus, like, skipping over details. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's just what I didn't really like about this book. And then, um, excuse me while I look at my little bookmark here from the library. Oh yeah, and then the ending, I thought it was very sweet. I like how everybody is going to, is okay for now. And I kind of wish, like, uh, maybe I could look up on Wattpad to see if there's any fan fictions. But I really, uh, it would be really, I'm well, kind of wondering what will happen after that. Because, uh, if you read the book, you know that Mateo has the ability to do magic. I'm just like, I want to... I want to read something about that where he's learning to do magic. I'm just like, I can just imagine, like, Mateo just struggling and Nadia's just, like, laughing in the background. And she, 
it's just like a sweet laughing and she's like as Mateo struggles she's just like <laughs> Mateo let me help you and he's like no I am a man I must do this myself and she's just like let me help you and then and then he just looks into her eyes and he's like okay that would be very adorable to read something like that but yeah I'm, it would be very interesting to read like if Claudia Gray ever feels like it, just writing a short little, like, e-novel about what happened afterwards. That would be really interesting. And then, um, another thing that I thought would be, that is kind of interesting, is that it kind of mentioned in the book about Faye Walsh and Nadia's dad, like, becoming close to each other. Like, not really that much, but it was suggested, and I'm just like, as I was, when I read that, I was just like, I can kind of see that. And it's interesting, but I'm like, it's not a very important detail, but I just thought of that, and it was just like, oh, interesting. And then, um, as you know me, I'm one of the weirdos who just like flips through the books as I'm just beginning it. And I saw this one line where Nadia was like, we're free. And she was saying that to Mateo. And so I'm just like, oh, uh, so they're just free from being, uh, Nadia being a sorceress and Mateo from the curse. And so it's like, oh, okay. I'm, I mean, I was expecting that. But no, it turns out they're free from being demons. I'm just like, uh, I was not expecting them to become demons but like when it got to really close to that part I'm like oh what are you guys doing you guys need to talk to each other and I'm just like why but it I guess it all worked out but as I said like the fight between like I just wish there was kind of more details near the end but um anyway um one of the really funny things I thought about this book was when Valerie Valerine got, like, all the love Elizabeth stole, uh, that Asa gave to her. I thought it was very funny, everybody's reactions. <laughs> I just, when, uh, she said, oh, three, two firemen proposed to me on the way here. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Just Valerie was super love. It was very funny to see her adjusting to it. But hey, she's getting a happy ending. She deserves something, just like Asa, because she is so loyal. She is a good character. And then I like how uh, when she se sees her hair starting to turn a natural color, she's just like, I'm going to be the only person who dyes their hair it's gray. And I'm like, you do that, because that is just a classic Valerie style. Silver hair. Woo! Sorry, I keep on looking at my notes. I keep on forgetting. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, tell me what you guys think. I always will use the... I'll always use feedback. And if you want me to discuss something about the book, just comment below. And as I always say, I will make a video discussing the things you want me to talk about so yeah um hope you guys are having a good day and i'll see you next time bye